Um, I, I read today, in fact, somebody said to me yesterday that Zelensky is having a daily com conversation with Boris Johnson. He is he's deeply involved in what's happening in Ukraine, one way or the other. Yeah, excellent. And I mean, I mean we announced today that we're sending 6,000 missiles uh, to Ukraine. Now, this, this is a great thing, by the way, a great thing for Boris, actually, in the polls. I don't know whether he's seen the latest polls right now. So he's come from about 28 points back, as he appeared to be holding a party every day during COVID, to actually nip and, nip and tuck with Labour, which is an extraordinary. And the reason is because, they, they, because people admire his leadership. Uh, enough to forget Partygate come the May local elections and say, oh, he, he was all right all along. Uh, no, come the May elections, the Tories are going to take the most dreadful whacking. But you can afford to do that because actually, in, I, I remember one Tory party chairman saying that when he was the leader of Bradford Council, he used to go round houses, knock on the door and say, um, who can I look forward to your vote? And he said, the guy would say to him, I'm not voting. And you say, why not? He said, because whoever I vote for, the council gets in. And that is, this is why it's a free shot it, for, for in May. You can kick the cat and get it over with. But Boris does himself a lot of good. And this country enjoys supporting the underdog. And Ukraine is being treated tragically right now. And I wish we could send 60,000 missiles there. And the cutting back that you talked correctly about our British army, let's face it, the truth about the matter is that idiot Cameron, right, he led the charge on saying we didn't need an army. And mm -hmm. here we are, what? That was 2014. So here we are, eight years later. We've never needed the military to, so much. I think, to be fair, Kelvin, it goes back to, it goes back further than that. It goes it back does, to options he, for change in the 1990s. He embraced it. He embraced it. He was a shocker. He would go down as one of the worst Tory prime ministers in history. Not sure how long Emmanuel Macron's going to be addressing the camera. Oh, yeah. But generally be speaking, the answer is be quite, a, quite a while. Um, Actually, you've got to ask Macron. Macron says he's going to carry on keeping uh, a pipeline open to, um, to Putin. Apparently, he's had 17 conversations with him. What has that achieved in the last month? Honestly, he's, he's wasting his time. I like the Boris approach. Let's arm them. Let's make Russia our number one enemy. Uh